What's up, Raider Nation? Good morning. It's hump day. We're already halfway there. February 5th, and this is your Raider Reaction Morning Show. I am the Kamish, in case you don't know who the fuck I am. Why don't you ask somebody? It's time to get it cracking, shall we? It Super Bowl weekend's over, 2019 season's over. The, the weekend was basically a shitstorm if you were a fan of the Silver and Black. We got Hose on the Offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um, the Immaculate Reception was the most memorable moment in about 100 years of fucking football. The most memorable moment was the Raiders getting fucked. And it, it was just, it wasn't a good weekend. Except for this. When the game was getting ready to start and they had to highlight the All 100 team and the players that built the foundation of what this league was, they couldn't deny. It was painted with silver and black. There's not enough time to thank all of them. So tonight, as we complete the NFL's 100th season, we honor the 100 greatest players and 10 greatest coaches in NFL history. Every great story needs a man in black. Or in this case, silver and black. And you know, there's the fallout after the Super Bowl for the, the losing team. You know, all, all the little kids in Africa are, are getting ready for all of their 49ers shirts to show up. And, you know, the 49ers have to head back home to the arms of, of the Bay Area waiting to embrace them. In 2014, you weren't there. But now in 2020, you care. Claiming that you're faithful and it bugs me. I saw it. I seen a price tag on your jersey. Just bought it. 2015, 2016, what did I see? Nobody at Levi Stadium, just empty seats. Five dollar tickets on stub hub. But you rather stay at home and order grub hub. I never saw you once in the same. Now on Instagram, you the number one fame. Last year, you was all about the Warriors. Sex. And this year, you ignoring them. Sex. Ooh, uh, and turned into a Laker fan. Went from Steph Curry to LeBron and them. Sex. Don't call me no hater, I'm Satan facts. To all the bandwagon out of fans, welcome back. Bam, bam, wagon fans. 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 Was, wasn't a big crowd there, was it? For for oh, all of you Niner faithful, Niner faithful, my fucking ass, you bunch of bandwagon bitches. Professor Kennedy cuts it up one more time as he's wrapping up the 2019 season, looking at another one of the breakout rookies for this season. Foster Moreau, tight end, LSU, your fourth round pick. This kid is the real deal and pairing him with Darren Waller man that's sweeter than you who baby hey everybody professor Kennedy here with this week's Raiders review I want to take a look at the tight ends you know coming into the season I didn't know the tight ends were going to be as valuable to this offense because we had a lot of higher expectations on the outside but a great contribution out of a young man number 87 Foster Moreau the reason why I think it's a great contribution is because there was so much focus on Darren Waller Foster Moreau made some crucial catches in some key games that really gave this offense a lift. Now, his season was cut short due to injury, but in years to come, I think he's going to be a valuable asset. And one of the things I like about tight ends, not only do they have to be able to catch, but they have to be able to block. So I want to focus on some of the plays that he did this year. This first one we're going to take a look at is the tight formation. And here's Foster right here. Now, his responsibility is going to be able to block Frank Clark, a known defensive end with a good pass rush. Now. As you watch him work around the horn, what I appreciate the most is that he didn't give up on the play. As he's pushing Frank around, he allows Derek to step up in the pocket, and he still stays with him after Derek is gone instead of watching the play. This shows that it's, this young man has a tre tremendous amount of pride in what he's doing. It's not a clean block. He doesn't keep Frank Clark out of there, but he does a good job of keeping his body between him and the quarterback. Let's take a look. Now, as Frank Clark comes outside, he knows he's got him one-on-one. -on -one. Sets up. I would tell him to keep his head out, but it is what it is. Now watch him ride around the horn, and he still stays with him. That's a great job. Next play we're going to take a look at is a run play. Now it's going to be a stretch play with the fullback. Fullback is going to come and lead up in the C-gap. Your back is told to follow it. Let the fullback be your eyes. He's also going to go to the C-gap. What I appreciated most about this is that after Waller goes in motion, Foster is going to have this outside linebacker. 
If he can reach him, great. But because he can't, he's going to keep himself between his body, between him and the ball carrier, which he does a great job. Most tight ends get a little excited out here, and they put their hands outside the box, and a lot of times it's called for holding. But Foster does a great job of keeping his hands on the inside of the chest plate and controlling the linebacker to make this a good run. Let's take a look. Motion, the defense shifts. The offensive line does a great job at stretching, getting to the second level. Engel leads up. Now look at Foster's hands inside the chest plate and keeps the defensive end out of the equation. Jacobs for a nice run. Now you're down in the goal line, setting up the situation for you. You're down in the goal line, and this looks like a true run formation. The Raiders are going to do a great job at play action. But watch Foster Moreau right here. He's going to sell the action, and then he's going to slip out. And he's going to be wide open because a lot of attention is being paid to number 83. Not only a defensive back, but a linebacker is also going to try to, try to take him. The great thing about having play action down in this area is you have a real small space to deal with, but everything happens so fast, one miss turns out to be a good play for the offense. Let's watch the execution. Sell the run, slip out, wide open in the flat. Touchdown Raiders. So as a former offensive lineman, I love a tight end who's not only afraid to get his nose dirty when it comes to blocking, but more importantly does his job when he hits in space and catching the rock. This has been a great season for a lot of these young rookies, and it's looking prosperous for the Raiders in the future because they're going to have great contribution from guys like Moreau and guys that we've seen in earlier weeks like Trayvon Mullen as well as Cleveland Farrell. Really proud of all the young guys that we've seen this year, and I'm really looking forward to watching them next year and the years to come. It's time for another edition of The Prime Cut. Okay. Yo, this is the Prime Cut with your man Prime right now. And I tell you what, I cannot believe all the rumors that are going on already in the NFL. I mean, can they really be serious about saying Tom Brady should go to the Raiders? As if the tuck rule never happened, the tuck rule game? I mean... If there has been anyone that has been more hated in the last 15 years by the Raider Nation, is it Tom Brady? I think it is. I think Tom Brady is the most hated man by the Raider Nation right now. I don't think it's Patrick Mahomes. I don't think it's Phillip Rivers. You know, I don't think it's any one of the Denver Broncos. No, it's Tom Brady and the stupid New England Patriots. So now that his contract is up, we really think that Tom Brady is going to go to be the new quarterback of the Vegas Raiders? Man, I, 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 I don't even know how anyone, any prognosticator could go out there and say that, yeah, Tom Brady would be best if he went to Oakland. I mean, Carr is decent. Don't get me wrong. He's not Tom Brady. I'll say that. Carr is not Tom Brady. I mean, he did win some championships, mostly on the foot of his kicker, but he did win them. I don't know. I mean, can Hunter Renfro really be the new Wes Welker? Nah, I think he's more of a deep threat than Wes Welker ever could have been. So, I don't know. All this talk already is... I, I, I'm i just shocked. I'm just shocked. I mean, there's a bunch of free agent quarterbacks. Phillip Rivers is going to be a free agent quarterback. Uh, Jameis Winston's going to be a free agent quarterback. I mean... well. Would Jameis Winston be better in a Raider uniform? I mean, that's a rumor. I, 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 that's a rumor that could hold some water. Because, I mean, he's the greatest mystery in the NFL. Jameis Winston will go out there and, I don't know, throw four touchdowns and five interceptions, and who knows if they win the game. I mean, I heard earlier that they should actually start every Tampa Bay Buccaneer game at 14-14 because Jameis Winston's going to throw two to his players and two to the other team. So, I don't know. But Tom Brady, as a Raider, doubtful, man. I just cannot see it. I mean, just uh, the fan base alone, the Raider Nation is not going to be like, oh, we're going to welcome Tom Brady with open arms. He's going to be our quarterback, and he's going to see us through to the promised land. We're going to go ahead and challenge those Chiefs for the uh, AFC West title. And go ahead and t ride Tom Brady's coattails all the way to the Super Bowl. No, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. 
I'll get more into some of these rumors and such uh, going forward, but let's just go ahead and put this one to bed. Tom Brady is not going to be a Raider. Prime out. It would not be a proper Raider Reaction Morning Show without a D-bag of the day. You, sir, are a fucking douchebag. Yar. So, me just got one little ray for your douchebags. All of you whining 40 fucking Niner fans, we'll be back. We'll be back. No, you fucking won't. Not when you have Jimmy Carr Jr. as your goddamn quarterback. Jimmy Bus Nutterlo. <laughs> D-Bags, Niner fans. But we already knew that. The Even 2019 we... season found the Raiders and the and the Silver and Black franchise on the threshold of relevancy. Mid-season, we were on the tip of everybody's tongue. The A lot of things and a lot of pieces have been put in place. This team is on the cusp of becoming something the return to greatness has continued. So let's just take a look at some of the building blocks and some of the things that were put in place in 2019. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Do it for each other. Do everything in your body on the field tonight. Let's go! Three receivers are off to the right. Protection, end zone, diving, catch, touchdown Raiders, Tyrell Williams. Good protection. And the throw, and he's got him, touchdown, Moreau, the other tight end, Buster Moreau. Getting off of blocks, they're playing inspired football right now. They're really helping to set up their offense. My family right here. I'm going to take care of you, you take care of me, you feel me? Do whatever it takes to win. Whatever it takes, you feel me? Everything you got, let's go. Darren Waller exploding. Waller showing off his speed down the sideline. Carr, the other side of the field. Diving catch is made by Hunter Renfro. is a bludgeoning up front right now, strength on strength matchup. This Raiders group right now, they are playing out of their minds good. Marlon Mack, wrapped up by P.J. Hall on that line. High-ranked defensive tackle out of Sam Houston State. They lose a yard on the play. from Eastern Michigan, knocks back Daniel in a loss of five. And now from the gun, going to go deep middle, got a man complete to the five yard line. Marcel Aitman, who had just checked in from the bench. Play for each other, we're all ready. Don't second guess yourself. Let's go play for the man next to you. Play for the man in front behind you. Yeah. From start to finish, man. Play hard. Let's go bring it in. They run it to the right side, cutting back to the middle. It's another good run by Jacobs. Cutting outside. Stiff arm at the 50 and still going. Tighten up to the left. Play action. Rolls hard to the right. Carr running to the pylon. Carr steps inside the pylon. Got a touchdown, Raiders. Rivers. 
Rivers is sacked from behind. And it's the rookie furl. It's picked off. Here goes Harris. And there go the Colts. What a play. And now, to send you out into the world to tackle hump day. We must do it right with your Raider. Quote of the day. My idea of a good hit is when the victim wakes up on the sidelines with train whistles blown in his head. I like to believe that my best hits border on felonious assault. The late great assassin, Jack Tatum. Have a kick-ass day, Raider Nation. Go out there and Help paint this motherfucker silver and black from one end of this spear to the other. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Tonight, you got Prime, the extended cut. Until next time, I'm out. Peace, love, Raider Nation.